Hello lovelies, welcome back to another video. Hello, how are we doing? Okay, so it's Monday, it's the start of a new week. I thought I would try to do a weekly reading vlog because I haven't done one in ages. And that's because I've been really busy. And that's because I am moving house. It's really exciting. Um, excuse the no made up face. I just finished doing a stream and now it's night time and now I'm getting ready for bed and I forgot that I still needed to start my vlog and took my makeup off. I was literally just like looking in the camera lens and I was like, why do I look like this? I swear to God, I looked so hot and sexy before. And then I realized I took my makeup off. Got ready for bed. But it's fine. We'll still start the vlog and I'm just fresh faced basically. Like I said, it's Monday night. Um, I haven't done a weekly reading vlog in forever. But that's because I've been very busy organizing the move and now we have an official moving day and I'm moving into a new house on Friday. So this week is going to be really busy. I still need to stream and stuff like that because I still need to make money. I still want to read books because I haven't read books in a long time and haven't created content for YouTube in a long time and I need to do that. And I just need to continue packing up the rest of my house and then doing a lot of admin work. So for example, because we're moving into a new flat, I have to hire like cleaners. I have to sort out a fridge. I need to sort out a lot of things and it's very, very stressful. It's okay because I know that moving is really exciting and I figured that you guys would want to see some moving content and everything I'm going to be in the new house by Friday so I thought maybe I could like I don't know just take some footage of me setting up the, my bedroom and stuff like that and I thought maybe that would be entertaining I don't know but first of all let's talk about what my reading plans are for the week so I'm in the middle of two books at the moment I am in the middle of a book called Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Danler I have been reading this for the past couple of weeks quite slowly but that's not because of my lack of enjoyment it's because of just time and time management but I am on to page 170 of this book and it is amazing it is an adult contemporary novel it is about this woman called Tess she's just moved to New York City and she gets a job at this very high-end restaurant this book I love because it feels very personal to me the restaurant described in this novel is very reminiscent of the restaurant that I worked at for four years so I feel very connected to it the lingo and the conversations that our characters in this restaurant use it's it's like looking back into a mirror of last year the year before the year before that it's like it's insane how similar it is to my experience like for example our character as well she just worked a brunch shift where she was severely hungover because she was drinking all night with her co-workers after their shift last night and then she's doing a brunch shift and she's very hungover like i've been there several times girly like so I don't know because of those personal reasons I'm just really really enjoying it I believe our character is about to get into a little love triangle moment with this really sexy bartender that she works with and um he's like got a little thing with one of her managers who she very much looks up to and sees as like a mentor and inspiration so I feel like that love triangle is going to be very interesting very like all about Eve in a way if anyone has seen that movie it seems like our main character is trying to become this her manager but it's so funny because it's very it's just very much romanticizing the hospitality industry the restaurant industry and i feel like it is a love letter to that while also being this dark twisted love triangle which i'm finding very very exciting the writing is really good um i don't know i'm just really really enjoying it so hopefully i will get through more of this um it's kind of giving me secret history vibes in a way but set in a new york restaurant rather than a college and i think that's just because our main character is the new girl in town she's the outsider and she's watching all these people and rom romanticizing them from like close quarters it's giving me richard pappen vibes so yeah this is very like all about eve slash the secret history slash my past life experiences if I was living in New York. So yeah, because of those reasons, I'm just really loving it and I can't wait to read more of it. And then I'm also for a more light reading, I guess light, but not really. I'm in the middle of the third book in the Addicted series by Krista and Becca Ritchie called Addicted For Now. I think I'm about 25% of the way through of this. So I have read a quarter, but this one is much longer than the other ones. This one is 500 pages, whereas the others were more around 300 to 350 mark. But already I'm really enjoying reading this. I've just been reading it mostly at nighttime to um, get to sleep. But basically, yeah, we're following our two main characters, Lily and Lo. You guys have heard me talk about the Addicted series before so I don't really need to get too much into it I don't think um, but this book is really really good we're finally seeing um, Lily and Lo make some serious progress with their addictions and their recovery so I'm finding it just 
really really lovely like obviously it is still a tough read because they are at the end of the day addicts and of course there's not it's not an easy road you can't really just go to rehab and be done with it and i think we're learning that a lot in this book like there's still a long way for these two to go but i'm really enjoying reading about that and yeah we've had some new characters come in as well also there is some blackmail in this book and even though that's disgusting like i don't know why but i really love books that feature a bit of blackmail i genuinely don't know why that's a trope that I love. Like it, it's just always so interesting to me and I'm so invested and I'm always just like who's blackmailing? Who is the person that is blackmailing them? Oh my god I'm very confused. Like it's a typical like anonymous phone number blackmail by text and I don't know why but like I love that trope. It's so interesting now that I've started reading so much more like in the past four years since doing booktube because I realized I love the most specific things. Like I don't know why all of a sudden I've decided blackmail is one of my favorite tropes. Am I fucked up for that? Don't tell me. Don't say anything. Those are the two books that I am reading this week. I really doubt I'll be able to pick up anything new, but I will let you guys know how I go and if I finish any of these. I am going to hop straight into bed right now and start reading more of Sweet Bitter. I will give you guys some updates as I read, but I'm feeling very awake. Like, while it is past midnight it's like 12 30 i'm still feeling very very awake so i will be trying to read as much of this as possible and i will let you guys know how i feel and if i have no updates then i'll see you in the morning i have a very very busy day tomorrow but i will take you along with me and i love you all and i hope you enjoy the vlog sorry for the like 10 minute intro good evening so i'm now on page 255 of sweet bitter so i've got like just under 100 pages left i believe it's also 2 30 a.m so I will be going to sleep, but it's still going very strong. Like, I'm really, really enjoying it. Our main character has now kind of started up some sort of, like, hypersexual relationship with the guy from, like, the love triangle. It's very intense. Like, some of the things I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, I feel like there will be some people who I think read into this book in the wrong way. But this is a very, like, hyper-romanticized, like, unreliable narrator kind of story. Um, so I think that's something really to take into consideration. Like, she, for example, she has, like, incredibly rough sex with this guy. And to the point where she's got, like, bruises on her face. And then she talks about how she wants to, like, if she could, she could, like, tattoo the bruises onto her. So they were there forever. And, like, obviously that's you know like a bit gross but I think you know we need to realize that this is very much a character study of a woman who has no idea who she is and she just like hyper romanticizes everything very much like Richard in the secret history who has always you know had an obsession with aesthetics and I feel like this is very much very similar like obviously a very different like plot and narrative but still the same sort of character study I believe so I'm really really enjoying it I think this you know it's just very much my cup of tea it's very much what I'm interested this is very much the sort of book that I like to read and get obsessed with and it's also very pretentious like it has such moments of pretension and I'm just like give me some of that I don't know I like I don't think I'm a pretentious person. Maybe I am, but like, I don't think I come across that way and I don't think I am a pretentious person. Feel free to disagree. I don't know. Um, but I love pretentious books where there's just a little bit like, oh, the author thinks they're better than everyone else. Like, I don't know why, but I kind of like a bit of pretentious literature especially modern pretentious literature when it's done well I like it when it's like a little bit I can I there's a difference between when the pretentious literature is done well and when it's not but anyway yeah I think I'm just talking out of my ass right now so I'm going to go to sleep I might read a little bit of the addicted book to try and get to sleep but I think I'll probably fall asleep pretty instantly so I'm gonna do that and then I will talk to you guys tomorrow like I said before big day tomorrow be doing a lot of packing so I will see you then Good morning guys. Okay, so it is Tuesday morning. I'm currently getting ready to straighten my hair. Um, I'm doing a really huge Twitch stream today because it is my Twitch anniversary. I have been on Twitch for one year. So we're doing a huge stream today, which is really exciting. I'm kind of nervous. 
but I think it'll be fun. But reading updates, I read more of um, Addicted For Now last night. It's getting so good. Like, honestly, Lowe's, like, toxic masculinity. I love it. Like, oh god. Like, his possessiveness over Lily. I know this, I'm making it sound really bad. I mean like his, prote not possessiveness, protectiveness. Um, his protectiveness over Lily is amazing. I love him. It's not toxic masculinity in the way that like he's, you know, gross to women or misogynistic or anything. It's more like he's just very like alpha male and he's got a lot going on. And I don't know, I'm just really enjoying it. I think I read like 20 more percent, so I read up to 40 percent, so I'm nearly halfway through. But yeah, I'm just loving it. And there are some sketchy people. Like, honestly, anyone could be the blackmailer. But yeah, so I don't actually know how much reading I will get done. Um, and how much more packing of my things I'll get done. I think I'm going to do the majority of my packing. Probably more like in the next couple of days. Like Wednesday, Thursday. Rather than today. Because I did dedicate all of today to the Twitch stream. And also just um, helping one of my friends with an audition and stuff like that. And then also I had to like do heaps of admin work. So like I had to book some cleaners for the new house. Really boring stuff, I know. But yeah, I'm going to do my Twitch stream. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, if I'm like still very awake after that's over, I'll probably do some reading. But until then, I'm just going to get ready. But yeah, if you were there at the stream, thank you for joining me. And welcome to the YouTube channel. And I look ridiculous right now, so I'm going to get on to straightening my hair. Anyway, I love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Hello, besties. Okay, so it is now Wednesday. I did such a big stream last night. I nearly streamed for 24 hours. If you were there, you know, you know. Sorry, I don't know why I'm dancing around. I've had very, very little sleep. But I'm doing some packing now. So I'm moving on Friday. And I thought I would show you, because I think I might start packing up some of my books. I haven't decided if I'm going to even be taking this bookshelf or if I'm going to be leaving it here and leaving some books here so I kind of have my own personal library. But I'm definitely taking this cube thing, so I'll have some room for books. So I'm not going to be taking all of my books. But I figured now it could be fun to like go through and just pick some ones that I am going to take, because I'll definitely have room for some. Um, I have this box here. It's got my tarot cards in it. Um, I've got this box here, which I might pack some books up into. So I thought we could do that together. It's mostly going to be books that I haven't really read yet or books that I just have to have as like decoration because they're my absolute favorite. So let's do that together. Let's talk about books. Let's make this vlog a little bit more beefy with content because I feel like it hasn't really been that recently. I haven't done really that much reading since I spoke to you guys because I did stream all night last night till I fell asleep. And then I streamed in the morning as well. Just on first glance, I definitely want to take Anxious People. This is a book that I've been meaning to read for a very long time. And I know that I definitely want to read it coming up in the next few months. I also am going to be taking Milk Fed and Queenie. Both books that are very much women in their early 20s uh, trying to figure out life. Um, very much a genre that I love. I don't know if Queenie is a queer novel, but I know that Milkford definitely is, and apparently it's very horny and weird. But it's by Melissa Broder, who very much writes horny weird fiction, so we're taking it. I think I'm going to take both Velvet Was the Night and Mexican Gothic. Mexican Gothic because it's one of my favourites and it's one of the prettiest books I own, and then Velvet Was the Night because I haven't read it yet and I really want to. And it'd be cool to have both my Sylvia Moreno Garcia books that I own on the shelves. So already I think we've got a good selection. Oh, how can I forget? I absolutely have to take my two copies of The Secret History. There's no way I'm leaving them behind. And I also have to take my hardback signed and personalized copies of the Poppy War series. If you can see that to Jamie from RF Kwang. Thank you, my queen. Have to take these because I could probably safely say I have had a favorite book for basically my entire life, which is The Secret History. I've always had that. And then whenever anyone says, what's your favorite book? I know that it's The Secret History. That hasn't changed. But never once have I had like a favorite series. 
a favourite fantasy novel, uh, a second favourite book, if you will. And now I do, and it's the Puppy War series, so you know that I have to take that. It is my pride and fucking joy. I'm also going to take Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. This is a book I have very much been wanting to read recently as well, and I think this will just look sexy on the shelves. Oh, I also think I'm going to take Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe, because it's queer lesbian fiction. Which reminds me, I also am going to be taking my copy of Not That I'd Kiss a Girl by Lil O'Brien. It is also personalised with a letter, so this is my favourite non-fiction book in the world. I'm taking this, especially as well, so I can make everyone I know read it. And then I'm also going to take The Only Good Indians, another book that I really want to read that I haven't. What else do I have? I mean, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. Oh, I'm going to be taking two more of my favourite books of all time, The Master of Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. This is my one of my favourite classics. It is a Russian novel. And then I'm also going to be taking The Pisces, also by Melissa Broder, which is fucking psychotic as a novel, but I love it. Oh, you know that I'm going to be taking Phantom of the Opera. I need to read that. I need to. I've got to read it. I want to read it as soon as possible. In terms of fantasy, I think I'm going to be taking A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. And I'm also going to be taking this huge book, which is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke. These are all uh, fantasy novels that I haven't read yet, so I'm definitely going to be taking these because I want to read them. I haven't really been in the mood to reread any fantasy recently, so definitely taking these to just try out some new fantasy. And now that box is really, really full, so now I'm just going to fill it up with clothes, I guess. Okay, that is one box done. I'm going to go find another box and see if I can put more books in it. I found this giant like long box long and short so i reckon that could be good to fill up with books oh i'm taking my copy of the alchemist 100 percent take it with me wherever i go it's a nice small book so it's not going to take up much space romance novels i'm going to take tristic's venom because i haven't read this yet and this i think will be easy to read and also you have me Orla by alexis daria I think that'll be a good read. And then also Exciting Times by Nersha Dolan. Not sure if this is like specifically a romance. I think it's also like, you know, young, early to mid 20s people not knowing what they're doing with their lives. Like I said, my favorite genre. So we have to. I'm gonna take Sally Rooney. So everyone knows that I'm that girl. And then I'm also gonna take Valley of the Dolls. Cause I feel like this is like a hot girl novel to have on your shelves, but I also do wanna read it eventually. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. And then I'm also going to take Night Bitch by Rachel Yoda. Definitely want to read this. Lemon by Kwon Your Son. I really want to read this. This is like a little mini Korean thriller. And then, am I finally going to read this? Am I ever going to read this? We'll find out when I take it with me. Okay. I think that's the only books that I'm going to pack up for now. Because I also got all my stuff back from Australia. And I know that I have books in there that I literally haven't even... I didn't even unpack those boxes because I knew that I would be moving. I did not even take the books out. So I just figured I would, you know, leave them in those boxes. So I'll definitely take those with me. But I think that's all the books I'm going to take for now until I decide if I'm taking this with me. I also have... Wait, let me show you. I also have... These are all full of books. Just ignore my washing. These are all full of books just here. So I also need to go through those and decide um, if I'm unhauling them or not. That's going to be a separate video. Uh, so I need to go through all of those and decide what stays here on these shelves, if these stay, and also what comes with me. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep doing more packing, but I'll talk to you soon. But yeah, I also really need to charge my camera. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the house and how I do it up and oh my god. Um, but yeah, not for a couple of days. Hello guys, a long time no see. Okay, so I have moved into my new house. It is Sunday evening and I have basically spent, since last time I spoke to you, I have basically been completely non-stop. Um, not everyone has even moved into the new house yet um, and we haven't even got any furniture like in the living room. We've got no internet, nothing like that. But I think my room is like 60% done. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, first of all, before I show you everything, um, I want to say that I did finish Sweet Bitter. I actually finished it today. I ended up having like a little break from going out and buying furniture and doing all that sort of stuff. I actually had a little break so I could read and I ended up finishing Sweet Bitter. Five out of five stars. It was 
fucking incredible. I really, really loved it. Um, the ending was perfect. It was just a perfect blend of like humor and melancholia and realism. And I just thought it was amazing. It also ended up being a very intensely heartbreaking love story about like two people that really shouldn't be together. I think everyone can probably relate to that at some stage in their life about just falling in love with the wrong person and having like a pretty toxic relationship with the wrong person. But I just found it so good and so exciting. And yeah, that last kind of part was like act four, I would say, of the book was just really, really good. So I gave this five out of five stars. I genuinely really recommend it. A really nice accessible read as well. Um, yeah, I just found it, found it super fun and it was a very good read. Now I am 50% of the way through Addicted for Now, which is the book I was reading on my Kindle. I haven't really been reading at all in the past few days just because of how busy I've been. But then I found myself this evening only wanting to do that and I'm not sure if it's because I have no internet or anything like that but I've just been reading non-stop so even though I'm 50% of the way through I'm on page 253 out of 500 I still think I will probably finish the last 250 pages tonight like I have nothing else to do it's 9 30 at night I reckon I'm just gonna get straight into bed and read and I'm really excited to do that. I'm still really loving this and what I really love about this third book is that we're learning so much more about the other couples um, which are going to be in the series. I'm just finding that really exciting. I feel like, you know, even though like Lily and Lo are the focus of this particular novel, I'm just finding them together and their recovery so good and then finding out more about the other characters and seeing how they're gonna develop is really exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna keep reading that. Let me show you around my room. Um, okay, so like I said, it's like half done. So here is like the door. Um, it's another kind of like outside situation, like how my old room was at my parents' house. But then on this side of this door, there's another bedroom. But I've got my like chest of drawers placed up against that because I don't want to have to like go through another girl's room to get to my room. So I've got my like outside moment. Here's my shitty little vanity love that um here's where i'm gonna set up my like streaming stuff i'm actually getting a new desk delivered um i believe on thursday so i'm gonna set up like the two monitors and my whole streaming setup and all that sort of stuff and if you guys want in like a separate reading vlog once that's all set up i can kind of show you my like pc setup and stream setup and stuff like that if people are interested and then over here, yeah, it's my chest of drawers. I'm probably still going to decorate it with more stuff. Right now, I just have my BTS albums, a few mangas, and, like, my sunglasses and stuff like that. Um, and then look how cute. You can't really see. The, like, chandelier moment on the side of the wall. Like, hello, we love it. I've got two of them. And then I have, like, a clothes rack with all my clothes over here. But then most of my clothes are actually in my chest of drawers. I'm also going to decorate all the walls and everything so it will look cute. But that's my room. I have, like, a little mini bookcase set up in, like, the, like, living room. So, for context, um, we have, like, a five bedroom villa at the front and then a two bedroom studio out the back so I am in one of the studio bedrooms and so we've got our own bathroom kitchen and living room so because it's nighttime now and I'm getting ready for bed I'm not going to show you that now but I will show you first thing in the morning hopefully when I've done it up a little bit more it probably won't be done up for a while but yeah um I'll keep you guys going with that process and everything I'm gonna keep reading because I'm obsessed I haven't even gotten into bed yet like since my first since making it and having my first night in the flat so this is gonna be the first time I actually sleep I did move probably move in on Friday but my parents were away so I stayed at my parents house for the past two nights um while I was still setting everything up and like people were still moving in and everything so yeah, I'm going to bed and read more of this. I'll let you know how I go. Um, but if I don't have anything more to add about the book uh, tonight, then I will show you around the studio tomorrow. And like my bookcase and everything. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Good morning. Welcome to my studio. I look like trash yet again. It's another really busy day. This is my little kitchen. It's an absolute mess. Like, it's all a mess. Like, we need to stress this. Like, it is all an absolute mess. Um, here's my ghost girl. Where she should be. In the main room. Um, and here's my little bookshelf, guys. Um, I've got my tarot cards up here. And then my, like, astrology and, like, kind of witchy books. My classic lamp. And then my little bookshelf of just all the books that I brought with me. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of books that like either I love, for example, like the Poppy War series and my copies of The Secret History. 
but also books that I want to read like sometime very soon. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to read next because obviously I finished Sweet Bitter last night. That I've got this big selection here, which is just lovely. And then I've got a little fireplace moment. This is like fucking disgusting. I'm thinking of maybe like either getting a TV up there or just like some art or something. But yeah, and then eventually I'll put some nice things up there. Wait till you see the bathroom, guys. Like, it's gorgeous. Like, why is everything gold? Why do I have an extra mirror on the wall? There you guys are. It's actually mad. And then we've got like a little bathtub moment where like everything's like gold. I don't even understand. Another girl is going to be in this room. So this room is currently empty. That's kind of the vibes. Um, I'm going to take you back to my room because we're going to talk about the book I just finished. Also, we love my outdoor area. We love it. So like I said, I did finish Addicted for Now uh, last night. I said I was going to and I did. Um, I'm just obsessed with it. Like it's so freaking good. I think this book is definitely my favorite in the series so far. I feel like our characters made the biggest leaps and bounds in this particular novel and I just loved finding more out about like Rike and Connor and Rose and Daisy like our other kind of characters that will end up being main characters in this series. I feel like this does a really really good job of just blending all the stories together. Sometimes when it comes to companion novels it'll be like a completely different story, completely different characters with maybe a couple of cameos of our characters from the previous like our couple from the previous um, books whereas I can tell that this one it's like all six of these characters are going to be so well fleshed out, so fully developed, and we're going to see so much of them in each other's stories. Um, when I start reading like Rose and Connor's novels and Daisy and Wright's novels, I'm just really, really excited. And this is just so well done. And like every single character has its own distinct voice, its own sense of humor. I just think the series is genuinely the best romance series I've ever read. And I don't read a lot of romance series. Like usually I'll read romantic standalones or companion novels, but this series is genuinely like so iconic and I love it and I think this is the first addicted book that I will be giving five out of five stars which is so fun. I have no idea what I'm going to read now and I also have no idea when I'm going to be starting another reading vlog or filming another video but I'm going to end this vlog here. I know that it's been a bit of a mishmash, a bit chaotic but that's just what is happening with my life right now. It is very chaotic. I am living a stressful life um, at the moment but I will be trying to get videos out as soon as possible so I just ask that you are patient with me which I know that you guys always are but yeah so I will hopefully be doing some more videos soon, some more vlogs once everything is set up but this is the first one. I have moved house. I'm very excited. So yeah, that's in this vlog. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night or week or whatever. And I will see you hopefully very soon in another video. Bye, everyone.